Welcome back to my channel. Um, the kids are asleep. It is currently 7.04 at night. I am about to wrap some Christmas presents. Excuse the stove here in the back. My setup is kind of not so good. But I'm going to turn on my candle that I got from Target. And I'm going to go get the Christmas present that I have. Christmas presents that I have. The wrapping paper, the tape, and I'm just going to get everything ready because I need to wrap some uh, Christmas presents and then take a shower and then go to sleep because I need to go to work tomorrow. So, excuse this mess as well. And yeah, let me turn on the candle. Give me one moment. All right, let me turn it on so we can be in the Christmas spirit. All right, you guys, so I got all the Christmas presents here for my nephews and I have one more that I got from Target for Sadie actually um I got her a baby doll she doesn't really like baby dolls she doesn't really like Barbies or baby dolls she likes she likes makeup okay but I love baby dolls I've always loved baby dolls and I just want Sadie to love baby dolls but anyways you guys all right and I asked you guys to ask me questions over on TikTok to answer them. So let me see if there's any questions that you guys have asked me so far. Um, does Asher have a dad? Is it the same dad that Sadie has? Asher has a dad and Sadie and Asher do not have the same dad. They have different dads, you guys. Yes, different dads. What is my favorite food? My favorite food is pizza. No, it's like it's not pizza. Gosh. I don't know. Oh, seafood. I love, 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 love seafood. Oh my God, how is this gonna work? <gasps> I forgot. You know what I forgot? I forgot, okay, no. you know what? I need to turn this around. Oh my God, it's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. Yep, the setup is not working out. <gasps> Come on, really? Okay. Let me go get, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work, you guys. Let me go get the, the tape. I'm back. You have no idea how long it took me to look and find this tape. Jeez Louise. All right. We're gonna do the best, to the best of our ability, to wrap this in such a little space because my setup is just, just sucks, okay? It just sucks. But anyways, okay. My kids are asleep. I don't know if I have a nose, but I'm going to cut this paper up. And then I saw another question that said, do you have a novio? Novio in English means boyfriend. Do I have a boyfriend? I think everyone wants to know that. Uh, you guys, I, oh my God, this is so hard to tell. Oh my God, I'm cutting it so disgusting. But you know what? This is harder than I thought. Answering questions and doing something is too much for me. I cannot multitask. Uh-uh, girl. That's a given. I cannot. But to answer that question, um, look at my bald spot. <laughs> or am I just trying to like change the conversation? All right, all right, all right. Enough with the fooling around. I am talking to someone, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, but I still don't wanna make anything official online, like, you know, like say or nothing like that, because it's still, I don't know, not so promising, if you know what I mean. I don't know if you get me. Hmm? A lot of like figuring, figuring things out and a lot of learning to do and, and you never know. I don't want to make anything super official, but I am seeing someone, but I'm not gonna say who. You guys can try to guess, but I'm not gonna say who or talk about this person yet. And let's just leave it at that, okay? If you guys need professional gift wrapping, um a gift wrapper that would be me okay it just like that you know the kids are gonna open it and i think okay look at this Ta -da! okay on to the next i bought baby boy this little 
a backpack why i don't know i just thought it was so cute and i was like he's not even gonna use it he doesn't even know how to use it but i was like i don't care i'll use it for him this can be his new diaper bag and like he can wear it and if it's too heavy i'll just carry it like this but look at this cookie monster sesame street girl i had to have this had to have this all right let's use let's use this wrapping paper why am i wrapping a backpack i don't know you guys just for the fun of it okay let me just cut it just let baby boy can have something to open does baby boy have his father's last name or does he have your last name uh baby boy has my last name so little story on that um sadie sadie was born when she was born she had my last name but after a year her dad and i went to change the birth certificate because he wasn't added on it because he was stationed somewhere else at that time um and so we added him on the birth certificate and we changed her last name to his last name he has my last name and i have no intentions of changing it um as of right now uh he's gonna remain a Perez like me I'm not gonna change his last name at all I don't have any intentions of doing so I don't want to change his last name to me he was born like that and I'm gonna leave it like that I don't care what anyone else thinks uh yeah my baby boy is gonna stay with the last name that he was given at birth but anyways another down uh three more to go all right question number three I think it says what's the hardest part of being a single mom good question for me i don't know just my personal opinion for me the hardest part of being a single mom is just you know having to do everything on your own i think that's the hardest you know sometimes you feel alone um you know when the kids get sick when you gotta take them to the dentist um when you go out to the store any like little even from the from the simplest thing to do, which is like going to the store to buy groceries. It's hard because you gotta do it by yourself. You gotta do it on your own or you have to ask for help. You know, for me, I asked my mom for a lot of help. I am grateful. My mom and me don't have the best relationship, but I do appreciate her and I do recognize her help. She does help me a lot with my kids. As a single parent, um what helps you the most is just asking for help and having family unfortunately i don't have a big big um family but my sisters and my mom help me yeah it's really hard being a single mom and just providing for them financially um it's just hard and, and having to go to work sometimes i wish i was a stay-at-home mom sometimes because sometimes it can be hard and you need to like run away for a bit but I do wish I could stay more time with my kids or like find or have a job. I would love to be a full-time content creator. That is my goal. I want to be a full-time content creator so that I can make my own schedule and I can spend more time with my kids and I can focus more on, you know, just making content for you guys. Oh my God, this is just cheap. It ripped. Look, you guys, we're performing surgery everything will be fine oh my god it's gonna take me like an hour to wrap four gifts are you serious are you serious it's just hard being a single mom but you know it's rewarding at the end of the day because you see your kids and they're happy and you know that everything that you're giving them even though it's like not a lot because i'm not rich but whatever i do provide for my kids i am proud of myself you know you would think that it's harder financially but no it's harder physically because at the end of the day, you're so tired because nobody, you go through the sleepless nights. Nobody helps you during the sleepless nights. The dads, they're sound asleep in their beds. It's me, the one that has to spend seven hours at the ER, you know, with Sadie or with Asher. And it's just hard. That's why I have a lot of respect for single moms. Um, this is hard, but we're making it one day at a time. And... And at the end of the day, it's rewarding. And I'm proud of myself. I really am proud of myself. 
Present number three is all ready. So let's go to the next one. Look at this awesome tent that I bought my nephew. I got it from Target and this is not sponsored, you guys. I wish Target would sponsor me. I love Target. I love Target. One of the biggest questions that a lot of people ask me is what happened to your apartment? I see that all the time. And you guys, I've mentioned it before on my TikTok videos that I had to let my apartment go. Um, it was becoming too much for me. I was able to pay the rent, but I had no money left over like for the kids to buy them clothes, to buy them you know, their needs or anything. Um, it was just becoming too much for me to do on my own. And I was not saving any type of money. I have a dream, you guys, as we all do. And my dream is to buy a house one day for my kids and for myself. And I had to put that dream on hold because all my money, all my income was going towards the rent. Um, I don't know where you guys are from, but I'm from California. And right here, the rents are crazy outrageous. So unfortunately, I had to let my apartment go. There was a lot of like you know commotion about oh my god you know what happened to everything that people gifted you from your wish list a lot of the items that people gifted me from my wish list were kitchen items kitchen accessories so the items were kitchen items you guys i brought all that stuff with me i use it every day here at my mom's house all that stuff did not go to waste i appreciate every single one of you guys that helped me um when i was moving but unfortunately it just didn't work out it's hard you guys remember i'm doing this by myself like it's hard so i did feel a little bit bad when when i had to let my apartment go it was a decision that i thought about and i and i had to unfortunately make but i don't regret it um the only thing i regret is you know obviously having my privacy but other than that i don't regret it because um i'm once again um saving money for my dream i'm not saying that my dream i'm gonna make it happen in the next six months no it's a it's a long-term goal you know it's not a short-term goal it's a long-term goal but i'm working for it you know and uh, i'm gonna make it happen you guys i'm gonna make it happen i know i am i know i will i'm gonna work hard for it and it's all for my kids also it was really far from where my mom lives and it was just really <laughs> stressful to be driving back and forth back and forth back and forth um but yeah so i had to let it go i do have a video that i made of the apartment um an empty apartment like tour that i made once every all my stuff was out on oh, the couches they were actually i bought the couches uh and i had to give those away i had to give them away i did not sell them i did not get any money from them i had to give them away because unfortunately i had like a week to move out or something like that so i was like oh my god oh my god i'm not gonna be able to sell them so i had to give them away it's not the end for me you guys i'm gonna move out again i don't know when but i'm working on it and i'm saving money and i'm working hard and i know i'm gonna do it for my kids but anyways present number four down um i gotta wrap one last present let me go get it all right you guys um i got this target box today it's a um, baby doll that i ordered for sadie should i open it and see how it looks i think that um, i don't want to make a lot of noise because it fits my this is how it looks sadie doesn't like baby dolls but i love baby dolls look at this oh i think it's so pretty oh my god i love it if you get into a healthy relationship would you consider having another baby good question to be honest i do want to have another baby not right now you guys just not now i'm 29 years old um i do want to have one last baby in my 30s i don't know when in my 30s but sometime in my 30s i would like to have one more baby and if i could choose the gender which i know i can't choose it but if i could choose it i want to have a girl i love little baby girls don't get me wrong i love my little baby boy but i'm just like a girly girl you know? i'm not very girly myself but i just love pink and i love like little girls and just all the pink stuff and i don't like you know boy stuff if i was to get into a healthy relationship yes of course i would want to have another baby um i just hope that if i do get into another relationship 
that the person that I'm having a baby with, or the person that I get into a relationship with, wants to have a baby. I would like to know what it feels like to, you know, go through a pregnancy with your partner. I don't know what that feels like. I went through both of my pregnancies by myself. By myself, you guys. So excited with Sadie with her with my pregnancy with her. Oh my god, I was so excited. I just I was so excited. I was doing all the baby shopping and the nesting and you know whatever, whatever. The baby boy was more. That's another story, you guys. But I was really depressed. I wasn't happy at all. Um, I guess I wasn't happy about how everything happened and stuff. And that I was, you know, once again going down the road of being a single mother. I know, I didn't learn my lesson. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. Everything happens for a reason. And I feel that um, I have a, a gorgeous little baby boy. He's so loving. He's so sweet. And I just feel like the luckiest girl in the world to be his mom. And I'm just like, wow. You know, I wish I would have known it was going to be this beautiful. Back to the original question. I would love to have another baby. If I found the right person. Who knows what the future has for me. Probably I only have these two kids and that's it. And if that was the case, I'll be fine with that too. I'll be fine with that too. Uh, oh, I've been very personal in this in this YouTube video, you know. Wrapping gifts. Oh, it just brings out the... I don't know the personal stuff <laughs> anyways gift number is this four five all wrapped up and i think this is the last one i need to do more christmas shopping obviously but these are the only ones i have girl it is almost christmas and i've only done a little bit of christmas shopping wow all right you guys so thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe comment below what you want me to film next i am gonna vlog probably christmas i don't know what else i'm gonna vlog for sure when i go to texas and i'm almost going to texas you guys remember january 7th i'm leaving to texas for a week i'll be back on the 13th at night so most likely the 14th anyways thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe here are the gifts that i wrapped i need to put them i don't know if i'm gonna put them under under the tree because baby boy might get them but anyways all right good night bye